OK, one more match today. By the way, if you go to MosconiCup.com, you can vote for the first match tomorrow. So go and do that now. One more match today in your commentary team for this one. Nick Shawman and Jerry Forsyth. Welcome back to Las Vegas, and things have gotten tight. Two to two. Somebody's going to go to bed tonight with a one-match lead, and somebody's going to bed with a one-match loss. Nick, we have really been looking forward to this one. We sure have. I mean, uh, we throw it around a little in sports. It gets no better than this, but 2-2, two -two, day one, Bergman and Shaw. Both grizzled warriors of the pool grind and, and at the press conference they were in each other's face a little bit Jerry they were you know eye contact I'd play you right now Jason said Jason said Justin said you came down to my town didn't play Jason said I'll play you right now pal so uh, <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> they got their wish Bergman won the lag so he's breaking the diamond apart for us Oh, that wing ball almost went in, and it did on the other pocket. Six ball went from one side to the other to fall in the hole. But the last of five, yeah. Yeah. Boy, what are you going to do with that? Ask, every, ask everybody to look away while you move it. <laughs> I don't know if he'll, he'll get away with that one, Jerry, but uh, of course the push out coming, always tricky to push to these Boy, fantastic always, players. you got to hate pushing out because you're at a disadvantage. Maybe he's going to try to tie up the 8-4 somewhat. That would be a good idea. Oh, he's going to get that back. I don't know. This guy is such a great shot maker. Can he shoot it in the top left? Maybe go into the 7? I don't know. At that just distance. sort of come around? Maybe play the 2-8? See. Yeah, he's taking it. Perhaps a safety. Yeah, I, I like safety better than playing the shot. Beauty. Now Bergman's got to answer that. If he can hit the one, there's a good chance that he can get a pretty good safe out of this. As Jeremy Jones likes to say, if you hit the one, all those balls are on the table. Yeah. Higher probability of leaving him safe. Awfully tricky here for Justin. Looks like he's kicking one rail to the side rail. A good, good roll and a bad roll all in one shot. Right. This comes two rails behind, slices it in. There's the white shortly to follow. Ball in hand for Mr. Shaw. And I've seen Shaw get through tables a lot tougher than this one. Indeed, Jerry. Looks like he started things off with the 2-8. Three to the four is a little tricky. The four is the pink down here by the deuce. Just to keep an eye on things. Looks like he left himself a little angle to follow down. Play the four in the bottom right. Real well, nice. His shots go in the pole so clean, just right in the center of the pocket, unless he's cheating the pocket. Clean is a great way to describe this man's game. <laughs> yes, he is. Fantastic shot maker, beautiful stroke, and wants to be here in these big moments, Jason Shaw. He does like the big game. Well, if he gets through this rack, we're playing alternate break, so he gets the next break as well. Comes around. He yeah, always big, big to uh, break serve. He said. Hmm. A touch awkward. Looks like he's using a high ball. Yeah, I was expecting him to draw this. I was too. Handles it quite well. And Jason Shaw draws first blood. One to nothing. Early days. It's a race to five.
They have the music really designed to draw this crowd out, <laughs> don't they? Oh. This is quite a venue, quite an arena. The energy in here is uh, as it looks on TV, but it's it's really rumbling. You can literally feel the vibrations when they start going nuts in the crowd. Oh, somebody, that's Jason. Coming out into the arena. Oh, yeah. I don't know how, how cute is that? It's yeah, I don't know. Congratulations, Dad. Yeah. Maybe go over and give Justin a little high five, too, you know? Right now, she needs some hanging. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Looks like Coach Shamat had a little call before this break. I don't know if that was breaking strategy or just overall. Every break massive. See what Shaw comes with. ball flies in but the one ball sets up ugly does Push out. of course it does look like he can kick into this one ball I believe he's declared a put oh yeah and that's the little miss Shaw yeah Okay. Well, if he left enough to hit it straight away, which I don't know that he did, surely Justin will try to come on down behind this 9 5 situation. I would think. No. Lags, it tries to get him on the six. Deuce. Oh, too hard. Did it eke oh, out? I don't know if it eked out enough to give him a clean look into the top left. Yeah, but at least he's But got it's an certainly edge. a look, right? Yeah. Is it enough to draw the cue ball down below the two and send the one ball back up here? It might be the way he was cueing. And initially from this angle, it looks like it might just go. It does. Sure doesn't look like that from the overhead. Though. Right. Let's do six. Close. Son of a gun. He'll be back in this one cross. Relatively short order. Yeah, but banks can be can a little bit of a tricky angle too. I don't know if he draws it over to the top rail or if he can just pinch it back a little. He does draw it to the top rail. Needs to lift the point. Oh. Three in the bottom left. Little girl brought him some good luck between racks. I'm telling you. Shaw's off to the races, Jerry. Take a look at this. Wow. Boom. And the three ball was off the rail just far enough to make point contact. Mm. Well, they're sitting out there for him now. Six with not quite a full pocket. Shouldn't pose a problem for not for Shaw, either. right? They call him Eagle Eye for a reason. Yeah. Being that he's a southpaw, this reach here is no kind of a problem. Got all the way across. Comfortable queuing. He'll try to draw it back below the side. Stay off the rail a little bit. Yeah, he would have liked a couple of more inches, but I don't think this. Is that middle finger dancing a little bit. Yeah. Not fine. Yeah. It's getting comfy. Yeah. Note that he wasn't ecstatic. Got out of line a little bit. Perfection. There she is. Here comes the good yeah. luck kiss and hug. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, hey, sweetheart, what are you what are you doing down here? <laughs> yeah. I saw she nudged, when she, I saw down there. No, she she just yeah. ran down the yeah. she got away from her mom. It's pretty quick. Yeah. 
And she doesn't look like the kind of little girl that you say no to anyway. Right. Two zip, Jerry. Yes, it is. Bergman yeah. set to break. What yeah. a big break it is. At least he gets to open the table. <laughs> a star is born. She's awfully cute. She really is. And if she turns out to be a pool player in 20 years, playing that footage back to her. Well, a massive break here for Bergman. Really needs to get something going. Struggled a bit in the doubles match. Down 2-0 here. Squats the rock. One in the side. Will the do squeak out, Jerry? Yes, I believe yes. it will. The five might be an issue. Oh, the deuce really squeaked out. Yeah. Does it go in the top right corner? I think it does. He's got a shot. At least I mean, that's more than he's had. Take a look at that blue two ball spinning around, coming out toward the center of the table. Well, if anything, if nothing else, he can put it in the side. But he had room. Nice shot. He's looking at the five now. Yeah. I don't know if it goes in that top right or if the seven impedes it. I'd like to get a good angle on the pink or perhaps straight. Well, he's got to worry about breaking that cluster out now. And by the way, uh, folks, if you're getting a little warble on your sound, it's because we're having ex in vision. We're, we're having um, extremely strong winds here in Vegas, and they're playing a bit of havoc with some of the equipment. But the winds are expected to die down, so stay with us. Did he play for the bank here, Jerry, or does it just go? Did he play for the bank or the safe? Or, do, yeah, does it just go? It might just go. The referee better be watching this one. He play for the bank. Nicely handled there. That's a little bit of a tie. Jerry. It is. I don't know if he slow rolls it in and just kind of drizzles by the eight for the seven in the top right. Tricky shot, especially down 2-0 in the Moscone Cup. There's that pressure you were talking about, Nick. But he tried to come around, got away with it as we see. There's a decent piece of luck. And it trying to leave him safe. It was a tough shot. Yep. Just hasn't quite gotten it going yet today, Bergman. Like to create some distance here, hopefully leave Shaw something difficult to handle. Maybe come off the seven. Oh, was that good, Jerry? Yes. It was, did just get there. Beautiful shot, by the way. Yeah. It was sneakily a tremendously struck ball. Look how touchy this is, goes rail first. Just perfect speed to get the six down to this bottom rail. Oh, did that work? It's not as good as he would have liked. Oh, yeah. Of course, he'd Just like to be frozen up on that nine. Sure. He's trying to slice this one in, Jerry. That's a mean slice. Sure is. Look at that. Oh, shot. Shot. Does he get over enough? No, he doesn't. Might be jump cue time. Boy, with the ball that far out on the table, it's not an easy jump. No, it isn't. And he's not the tallest fella either, so he'll have to kind of reach, maybe be even a little sidearm here. You can take a look. That's a beautiful cut shot, but the cue ball is misbehaving. He's got that one leg up on the table. Boy, this could bounce bad. 
Does he get away with it? I don't think so. Nope. Well, you can't blame Mr. Bergman if he's a little bit frustrated right now. Nicely done. I love the guy's touch. Yeah, he's got the power, but then he's got the finesse when he needs it. Yeah, his speed control is just amazing. And that gives Mr. Shaw a tough lead to break. He leads three. And he's got the break. Smooth and steady, has that break. Peeks over at that rack. Watch that eight ball. Yep. Flew Flies right in the into the corner. Sure did. Six ball went into the side, and the one ball gets ugly. Gosh, he made that decision awful fast. He's decided to push out already. There's, get to watch the table set up there. Well. The way he makes long shots, I expect him to push it right back down where he's standing. But push out to little tester. Yeah. But you never know. push that initiative when you push out a very push. tricky proposition, deciding push. where to go. Push. He might be pushing to a jump, or he might be trying to freeze it on the rail and just sort of asking Bergman what he's got. This vantage point, it looks like the one goes in the bottom left past the nine. If it doesn't, he can thin it, try to bank it to the bottom rail and bring the cue ball up maybe where it is now ish. But if it goes, I think it's time to try to come with a shot. I agree. You got to get some marks on the board at some point. That never really threatened the pocket. No, it wasn't too much of a threat. Tough shot, but uh, it's all Shaw so far. Great little pinch stroke there. A little trickier than it looked. And this two to the three is the whole key to this one. The pink purple sitting beautifully, as are the seven nine. Just don't want to do anything crazy now. Just have a look at that three, and 4-0 uh, seems imminent. Yeah, there's not a lot here to stop him. A little bit awkward here. He might have to accept a bit more work on the pink than he had wanted, but uh, we've touched on it many times. Shaw shooting. Kind of expect him to just go about his business. 
Like that. Whips it back. <laughs> Bit of distance, but uh long shots never seem to bother him. He reminds me very much of Johnny Archer in that. Yeah, I see it a prime archer, sure. Archer used to push out to tremendously long shots and then step up and make them. Right. Nothing to it. Center of the hole there. <laughs> Might Stand elevate up. somewhat. Attention, pull this thing back a little bit, whether he uses that rail or not. Wants to leave himself a little angle on this seven. Does come to the bottom rail. Just gorgeous speed. Perfect. Use a little low right here. Let's see if he pumps his crowd up, Jerry, when he gets on the nine. You think? <laughs> He's all business yeah. today on day one. Yeah, he is. He'll wait till the next rack. Jason Shaw putting on a clinic. Leads our match four to nothing. But Justin Bergman gets the break. The love from Niels. Europeans are singing, they're dancing. Oh, yeah. Well, we've seen them come back from this score before. Oh, man, some nice moves out there in the crowd. There they are. Yeah. set to break here Jerry can he stop the bleeding a little bit can he just catch a little rhythm here to close day one even if he doesn't win this match which is such a tall order can he just kind of get going a little bit let that stroke out I, I tell you Justin's got the game that he certainly can come back from here I mean it's only he four does racks. The, the alternate break makes it so tricky though but well, he does and what a great look for him here the one eight bit tricky we have to try to get position on that one after making the combo that was precarious by the way danced a little on that rail. I believe he'll shoot the combination and spin down. Nicely done hit it kind of full. I didn't know he was able to hit it that full and make it but he was. Wants to leave an angle on the two to come across for the red three. May elect to come twice across beneath the purple four and out or might just spin out to a little right of center table. Well, that's great. They'll <clears throat> give him an angle on the three and then he'll get an angle on the four as well. That's uh, excuse me, the four and then the five. No, that's okay. I'm blind. Nicely done. Just to leave himself a little angle on this purple five, Jerry. Perfect speed there. It's looking good now. Now he's had enough time at the table where he can start to feel yeah, comfortable. Loosen up a little bit. Take that with him into tomorrow, even if he doesn't move mountains and come back in this set, which of course he might. Shaw having multiple breaks still. It's going to be tough, but these Americans are letting him know they appreciate him out here. Justin Bergman on the board. And they're supporting their boy. Little fist pump with Coach Johan. So now, Mr. Bergman has to sit 
and await a chance to get back to the table. Right. Will, Will Shaw let him do that? These Americans are happy to have a little something to cheer about, though, Jerry. Oh, yeah. Been a little cold out. Well, somebody has to go into the evening with a one game lead. But I'm glad that it's just one okay. game. She's got the coffee going, but, you know, <laughs> who knows? There have been easier environments to close a set out than this if you're Shaw, Jerry, but uh, it's pretty steady. The all important break. Wing, Wing ball, ball flies in, that's right. <laughs> One tracking towards that top right. Oh boy. Yeah. This could be a bit tricky, though. I don't know if he yeah. could cheat the pocket enough to just draw straight back, meaning can he hit the one thickly? Yeah, he's got to get shape on that, too, and that's right. not the easiest thing in the world to do. If he can't pinch it back, he can go to the top rail and then try to contact the red three, opening up the two in the same pocket as the one, or perhaps play it down to the bottom left, as he just looked at. Little bit short of the mark, unless it goes in the side, which very well may. He's playing it in the bottom left. It's a tester for sure. Extension, John. Extension, please. I believe he has to apply a little bit of left hand spin to this to, to get position on that red three, which makes it trickier unless he's drawing back and out. He does oh, miss it, Jerry. He did miss it. This is a real opening for Bergman now, who will be set to break if he wins this. Yeah, Bergman of course is huge. Bergman with a nice angle, too, to just come high ball out for the three. Have to come with this if you're Justin Bergman. Nicely done. Well, he's got exactly the table he needs. Preference here, whether he comes one, two around or just one out. The ladder, little angle. Looking good, Jerry. Just try to punch this out to center table. Six in the top right. That's a smidge more angle than he would have liked, to say the least. Manageable player of his abilities, but definitely a little bit more of a tester than he would have liked. Extension. Extension, please. Immediately declares that extension. Good thing for him is all you have to do is make it. Seven's handy, as Mr. Jones likes to say. Great shot, big time shot. Well, Jason's gonna start hearing some footsteps. And he doesn't have to ask who they belong to. <laughs> well struck. Always nice to get perfect. And with the break coming up in this seventh rack, Bergman's mounting a little charge here. Oh, yeah. He is indeed four to two now. And as Nick told you, he's got the break. And that is huge. The table was breaking so easy the first match, that team match. Yeah. And it's gotten a little bit tougher yeah. every match. 
that tends to happen. I don't exactly understand the science behind that, but the heat, a little bit of precipitation, and just the table taking a little bit of wear and tear it does tend to break a little bit tougher as time goes on. Although these boys are making balls on the break. Shaw, all he can do is watch right now. Hope to get another chance this rack at least. He'll have the break next rack. What a huge rack this is, 4-3. The nerves really start to come in. Sean knows he was up 4-1. He had that two ball. He had a chance to close. Yeah. Sure he's focused on the next shot, but uh, it's got to weigh on you a little bit. He lost the cue ball a bit last time out. Hopped a little bit down on this side rail, bottom rail. Whoa, Great he, break there. He smacks. Oh my. And the one ball was set up, and it does. What a chance this is to make it 4 3, Jerry. This is, he couldn't ask for a better layup. This is great. And I think all pool players are rhythm players to an extent. Bergman's certainly starting to find his. Should be okay. Maybe a touch awkward here. Looks like he's drawing to that side rail and out or punching at two rails. A little bit of work to be done. Let's punch it. Beautiful. Depending on the angle, follow it around. He did. He doesn't want to get straight here, but it's still moving. Beautifully done. In fact, it's moving a little too much. Slightly awkward cueing off the rail, but it's very natural to just drift over for the eight. Watch that side pocket on the left. It's the one thing on his mind. We, uh, we don't want to dunk in there. from Jason Shaw. How does it turn out? Does he get an easy table or does it turn tough on him? This is the question. All Bergman can do is sit and watch right now, but he's handled his business these last few racks, to say the least. Shaw looks focused, man. Sway back and forth. Yeah. yeah, let's not get too excited, but here you go. Yeah, but the cue ball got kicked. This might be a real good look, Jerry, if that deuce keeps going, but the seven, maybe. Nope, he's in good shape. Yeah, he might be. Yeah. 
Yeah, Jason actually looks like he's a little bit upset with himself for missing that opportunity earlier in the match. Kind of guy you don't want to give multiple opportunities to. No way. Sweet stroke there. God, that was beautiful. Three to the four, a bit of navigating. Four to the five, same. But uh, this guy you want doing it in this spot. Just wants to leave himself an angle to, to get back down. Does. Could be a hair steep where we roll it in and maybe just accept center table-ish position on that pink four to then come up and down for the five. He's looking at it now. You don't really want to flirt with the nine too much. Yeah, but Jason isn't the kind of player to settle for longer shots if he can get some. Yeah, you're else. right about that. Comes all the way down. Does flirt with the nine a hair. Yes, he does. But he's just fine. He was just saying hello. Yeah, he was just saying how you doing. Yeah. I'll be back in a minute. Right. <laughs> Nicely done. This should be just fine. He may punch it over and accept the six uptown in the top right. Looks like the seven might impede drawing it back. Doesn't. What a great stroke, Jerry. He does have a stroke. <clears throat> it looks like he's going to go ahead and take this rack in the match, but. You've also got to give kudos to Justin for he the he Yeah, he did what he had to do, face some adversity. All you have to do is sink this. In the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is that USA champ. This guy is a stone cold gangster on this pool table, Jerry. Tell you what. Jason Shaw rises up. Here he is. Jason Shaw yeah! takes this match five games to three. And that means Europe takes a one game lead into the, into the pillow tonight. They lead three to two. But that's not much of a lead. She's happy. What a first day this was. As you said, not much of a lead, close as it can be. This is shaping up to be a good one. Oh, it's going to be a great. You know, we talked about it yesterday before this started. This on paper is one of the closest Moscone Cups ever. Yeah. And what a release there. <laughs> yeah. Jason let go some emotion. Okay. Look at those great celebrations there from Jason Shaw because he has just put Europe 3 2 up after day one of the Moscone Cup this year. And he's alongside me here with uh, his daughter as well. And uh, congratulations, Jason. I noticed she came on to give you a bit of a pep talk midway through. It seemed to work. Yeah, um, you know, uh, all day I kind of, I felt good, but I think the butterflies were inside all day and I was just trying to stay calm instead of getting worked up. I think when I get worked up a little bit, I kind of overthink some things and make mistakes a little bit. So I was just trying to keep myself calm and stay composed even though I was feeling a little bit nervous. It did certainly seem like you really played your way into form today. Yeah, you know, um, we didn't start off great. They, they got um, a little bit of luck in the first match, but they played good also. And then Shane and um, Tyler played good in the next doubles match. Neil's and that missed a couple of balls, but, you know, going into zero down and Josh has got to come out and try and perform, and then I'm coming out doubles and singles, so there was a lot of pressure on me there. So that's it. I mean, two nil down, three two up. That's what the Moscone Cup's all about. Yeah, you know, we play all year for this, and uh, even though we're nervous, we still get down and knock the balls in. But it's just, uh, it's just crazy in here, man. The fans are going crazy. It's good to have them over there and them over there. Uh, in terms of the team spirit in your team, you're certainly all backing yourself. Same with the USA, by the way. But looks like the team spirit's great. Yeah, obviously, their team spirit looks great. They came out strong, uh, and we finished off strong, so it's looking like it's going to be a good Moscone Cup for the next three days, and uh, it's all to play for. Jason, well done, and well done to you as well for that little pep talk that you, that you gave him. <laughs>